More than 1,400 triploid grass carp were recently released into Port St. Lucie ponds and canals. These fish will feast on invasive vegetation and algae in 40 different areas on the east and west sides of the city. Anything that's submersed in soft tissue vegetation, they like that type of thing. The City of Port St. Lucie Public Works Department and Aquatic Vegetation Control Incorporated, a Florida vegetation management and general environmental consulting company, chose to disperse the fish in areas most prone to invasive plant species. When you spend as much time on projects as we've had, especially like here in Port St. Lucie, you know the areas that are prone to developing a bad behavior, so to speak, with the, with the plants or whatever may be there. So we know how to beat the plants to the punch to show up before the problem gets there and to keep it from ever being a problem in the first place. We just hired these grass carp, so they're employees at this point. Runoff from roadways, fertilizers, and other chemicals contributes to invasive growth and the city wants to control it in a natural, environmentally friendly way. So the fish do a very decent job. They grow to, you know, three to four feet long, these little fish, and they can eat their weight in, in vegetation a day. So they, they're doing pretty good. So that's why we keep them in all the waterways and just to keep the invasive vegetation under control. American Sport Fish Hatchery of Montgomery, Alabama transported the grass carp to Port St. Lucie. Whatever number you stock in here is what number you'll have unless you lose some to just natural mortality or predation by a big bass or alligators or something like that. The triploid technology really allows you to not have a exotic fish get out in the wild and explode because of uncontrolled spawning. So it really allows the state of Florida to control vegetation in a, in a precise way without using so much herbicide. These grass carp live a functional life of about five years. Without their help, Port St. Lucie ponds and canals would look very different. First, it would probably be covered with an algae, and the more stuff that goes into the, the waterway, the more these things feed, and the more algae, grasses, and everything else grows. So this would be actually a clogged waterway. That's why you have to control it to keep it flowing. Each release location has been approved and permitted by the state of Florida. In order to keep this process balanced, areas are designated to receive a certain number of fish, which are hand counted as they're released. A lot of Port St. Lucie's canals and greenways are designed to have a natural feel to them, which helps the cleaning of the water as it flows from the streets to the canals and you know, everywhere everybody likes to spend their time. We try to make sure that when it gets there, it, it gets there as good as it can be on our behalf.